We've always been big fans of Arturia and the amazing stuff they've done to make these old synths come back to life. My first synth was actually a Juno 106 that I bought of an old man that had carved his social security number in the wood in the back. His family had given him the synth because they thought it was an electric piano. He told me he only turned it on once. But I loved it and have used it all my life. So what I've basically done is uh, made a little song out of presets on the June 6th. And my good friend Jay Tyler on guitar, just to give it that extra spice. It's lovely with the Junos. It's the sub -osculator. I think that, that is a go-to. And like always, having the advanced options can take this classic sound and bring it to a, another level. And the assignable modulation capabilities are great. Being able to assign the mod wheel velocity and after touch to any parameter can hugely shape the sound. Being able to turn off the chorus noises is uh, hugely beneficial when, you, when you're using a lot of instances of the same plugin. I think it's really clever, the, the macro knobs they have, the brightness, timber, time and movement. They really make it easy for you when you're previewing sounds and finding the sweet spot. Also being able to customize the macros down in the bottom and adding controls to, to sync each and every one is it's a great, great feature. Super easy to medium up anything. Also being able to define the polyphony up to 36. I think the, the good thing about this is it sounds authentic. I think you've done a really good job, Arturio. Congratulations. <laughs>